Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to a very interesting case. What you're going to see in this ear is some sort of white residue that's kind of all over the ear canal and obscuring the eardrum. Now those of you who watch these videos might be thinking, oh this looks like a fungal infection, it looks like a candida yeast overgrowth. And that's a very good guess but that's not what this is. This patient has some sort of residue coating the ear and I'm not entirely sure what the medicine was. It's, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably Silizan or Silidex, which is a, a type of antibiotic called Ciprofloxacin. So what's happened is this patient had a really bad ear infection and sometimes when otitis externa gets bad the ear canal actually swells shut basically so the, doc the doctors find it very difficult to get the medicine in the ear it's no good giving someone otomize if they can't actually get the medicine down into the ear canal to treat the infected tissues now when that happens the patient has to go to the hospital to see an ear nose and throat doctor and that doctor will put what's called a wick into the ear canal so if the ear canal is swollen shut then they will put what is essentially like a little strip of, of foam or material, this is a um, sodium bicarb I'm putting in there, they'll shove a little bit of material in down into the ear canal and then they'll put, they'll instill some sort of steroid drop onto that wick that will then go down into the swollen ear canal and then hopefully it will open back up again and then the doctor can prescribe some, some medicine. And that's what I think this is here, I think this is ciprofloxacin drops or cell. Siloxan, Silidex is with com uh, ciprofloxacin combined with um, a steroid dexamethasone, hence why it's Silidex. Um, but in any case, the patient has used these antibiotic drops and this is the residue that's been left behind. Now the actual kind of white scaly stuff all over the ear canal, I'm not really that worried about it, but hopefully you can appreciate here that the eardrum is obscured. There's actually you know, a very thick layer of dead skin and residue actually obscuring the eardrum. It's almost like a fake eardrum has formed on top of the real one. Now, this is three days later, this cut here, that was three days later. So this is the ear after three days of bicarb. And um, now everything's kind of looking a bit more mushy and bubbly down there. And now I can actually, lift up this this kind of residue and take away this cast that's formed over the eardrum and sort of abate the patient of their symptoms which is hearing loss and weird fullness in the ear and tinnitus you know it, as you can imagine it's it's like having you know a big huge wad of cotton wool stuck in your ear it's not a very pleasant feeling so all we need to do is just literally kiss the surface of this uh, kind of gooey white mess and you'll see right there that is the cast that has formed over the drum. I don't actually know if it's de a dead skin or if it's just like the residue from the drops. I don't know, it's probably both to be honest, probably dead skin and residue, but it's a weird looking thing. Um, but once I had kind of stripped that away, patient was just light bulb moment. Their, their, patient, their uh, symptoms were totally resolved. Eardrums looking lovely. I mean, admittedly, it looks a little, you know, flushed, but quick Valsalva here, nose pinched, and we will see a little bit of flexion, hopefully. Um, what I'm testing for here is just to make sure that, you know, there's, there's proper eustachian tube function. Um, there's some bubbles and a little bit of residue here and there, but overall, this is quite a satisfactory outcome. We'll just wait for that flexion. And there we go. So eardrum is nice and mobile. Um, and patients feeling a lot better. This is the other ear and it was also the case on this side as well so really bad detritus externa, ear canal swollen shut, hospital, ENT doctor puts in the wick and steroid drops, ear canal opens a little bit, ciprofloxacin drops either silidex or siloxan and then we have this again this kind of weird residue that's formed and again the job is straightforward again this is after three days of bicarb by the way so, you know, there was not a chance in hell that I would, I would be able to clear out this ear um, as is. So three days of bicarbonate is an easy job. So, 
you can kind of see that the eardrum is there, but again, it's, it's trapped behind that uh, kind of false layer. And the, these cases are actually relatively straightforward, to be honest. It, it looks somewhat complex, but it's actually just about control. You just kiss the surface of that debris and it all just kind of shloops up. So it, it, the bicarb has really done the work for me, to be honest. But uh, there we go. Patient is uh, very happy with the result. Again, hearing loss abated and uh, feeling of fullness gone. The tinnitus hung around for a day and then it, it disappeared. Um, so overall, a very, very good outcome. But uh, I thought I would share this case with you because I don't think, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever shown anything like this before where, they, where you get these kind of weird residues forming um, from certain types of eardrops. But, um, I'm fairly sure it's it's silox, uh, siloxan. So, and and when you think about antibiotic eardrops, we in several videos I've you know talked about otomize and acetic acid and stuff. But ciprofloxacin is perhaps a second line choice. It's quite a strong antibiotic, um, and it's also used for for perforated eardrums as well. So. There is the cast. I don't usually do this at the end of the video where you, you know, I kind of pick stuff up with my, even with a gloved hand, but I didn't really mind in this case because I'm fairly sure it's just dead skin or, or residue. So um, I didn't mind that. So there we go. I hope you found that video interesting and useful. Um, if you have any questions about the case, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you guys on the next video.